Go live, go live. I'm going live. Hello, everyone. So nice to have you here uh, on day 11 of our 10 minute portrait challenge. I haven't put the heater on today, so it's a bit cold up here. Um, but it's, it's great to be here with you. I'm sure I'm going to warm up by sketching. Um, I would love to know where you are and what you're going to be working with today. Um, I see Gleese is here, Kitty, Barbara, PTW. Uh, nice to have you all here. Um, yesterday's was super fun. I really enjoyed drawing MIA and have another really lovely reference for us to sketch from today. And this is Tenzin Wangyal Rinpoche, who wrote and teaches about um, Tibetan... Uh, what's the book called? I just started reading it today. Um, the, the Tibetan Yogas of Dream and Sleep, I believe it's called. Super interesting about how um, we can be in... Uh, ah, what, what's the best way to explain it? That within sleep, you know, we spend a third of our life sleeping and that you can be present in your dreams in a in a um, kind and conscious way. Uh, and it, it's, it's, it's super interesting, super interesting. I've been interested in dreams and the dream world for a long time. And I listened to a conversation with Duncan Trussell on the Duncan Trussell Family Hour. I was talking to Tenzin Wang and Rinpoche and I was so inspired by it and have just started the book. So I thought it'd be fitting to, um, to do the sketch, the hashtag Hashtags you can use down here if you're sharing your work on anywhere on social media. And this is um, one girl Rinpoche on Instagram. Um, if you'd like to tag him over there. Here is my workspace, MIA from yesterday. This was a bit longer than 10 minutes, but it was definitely worth it. Um, hi, Chris. Hi, Shannon. So excited to draw and read this book. I, I, it's, it's a super interesting book and topic and really wonderful. Hi, Fred. Welcome from Maryland. 17 people watching for thumbs up. And I know one of those thumbs up was from myself. So maybe some of you would like to give me some thumbs up before we get started. And um, I'm going to, I think I'm, I'm going to start with these polychromos pencils. So I've got a waterproof pencil layer and then I'm going to put some watercolor on top of that. And I hope it's all going to work out. Um, I've got some water soluble pencils here too, and I'll see what happens. I showed I can my nine year old the reference will be working from, and he was really excited about the red color of of the the mantle. So um, that'll be fun. Let's draw. So eight thirty three at the moment. See how close we stick to the ten minutes, and um, just gonna gonna go for it. So, um, this is a lovely reference. Love the smile. Love the such an incredible color. This red color, color. Who caught the drawn together episode with with Ian Gold Goldsmith? on Thursday, Shannon, who's also in the chat here, and I do this cool new show called The Drawn Together Show, podcast, live stream, draw along art session, conversation, where we get a guest on and we talk about whatever it is they're into, uh, what they're working on, and Ian is putting together all this amazing color study stuff for a, a book on color. And um, so, past few days when I'm seeing intense, incredible colors, thinking about Ian's work and, and of course the, the, the red of the robes of Tibetan monks is a very, very iconic and powerful color. Um, yeah, so this book is super interesting. Um, and just since the conversation I listened to a few weeks ago, I have, um, as I go to sleep at night, I, I do a, a breathing practice that he mentioned where you, you do a deep inhalation and exhale for twice as long and kind of let everything go from the day. And something super interesting uh, 
that really stuck out to me in that conversation was whatever you take to sleep with you as you're going to sleep, um, whatever emotion, whatever you're busy with, uh, that that is what you take with you for your sleep journey. And even though many of us, including myself, get so busy and um, uh, not always present with what what happens in my sleep, uh, I have had phases of my life where I've been really into um, recording my dreams and being aware of what was going on in my dreams. But um, whatever it is that you take with you as you go to sleep, that's like, that's what, what you take with you to sleep. And if it's like trouble and concern, um, or you're just busy with the things you need to get done, that's like, that's kind of what's, what you are, you're filling yourself with for, for the following uh, six to eight hours, however it is, however long you sleep. And just by doing this breathing exercise and letting everything go, so you can be busy, busy, busy. But then once you're, you know, in your sleeping place, um, just to do this breath exercise to let go and um, kind of clean the slate as you go to sleep and be open to to what what the night brings. Super interesting. And it's something I've been practicing with my son who he has a lot of troubling dreams and really busy processing the day. So it's uh, it's been a really nice kind of nighttime relaxing practice and it's super quick, super easy. And then I, I've never had trouble falling asleep, but it's nice to kind of um, do it in this clear way, not scrolling through Instagram or something, shouldn't be doing that before going to sleep. Taking that kind of uh, glowing screen uh, social media energetic imprint with you. It's good to get into a discipline of um, <coughs> stopping that and doing something neutral, clear, or positive uh, before before becoming unconscious. Does anyone else have any bedtime practices? Hi, Roseanne. Um, any kind of rituals or things people do as they're heading off to sleep? So I can't tell much about this book yet because I've only just started it, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Because throughout my life, uh, dreams and dreaming has played, I don't know, an uh, interesting role. I've been aw aware of things to different extents at different times. I think I've expanded face here a, a bit. Oh. Already four minutes in, <coughs> or or longer. What's going on? All right. In that case, let's just start getting some color down. I've made them a bit broader, broaden things out, but that's how it is. I wonder. I don't have a, a yellow ochre in this palette. I don't know why not. Just going to mix things up. So I presume you're all very busy drawing along. Can't, can't tell us all about your uh, uh, evening ritual right now. But I'm, I'm super curious. So if you'd like to let me know in the chat or if you have experience with them, um, any kind of dream and sleep practices, I'd be really, really interested to know. Or just in general, if you want to let us know what you're drawing with, if you're sketching along, it's always nice to have something in the in the chat to respond to. But there are 21 people watching, so nice. So nice to have you all here. And it's been interesting. Um, usually, Instagram is like my main, has been uh, until recently, like my main social media place. Um, but I have seen that there are also, I think there are people from YouTube who are getting on board with this, who don't know me from Instagram. And that's really cool to see. Uh, so super happy wherever you're coming from. So nice to have you here with us. 
I'm really curious to know uh, if if this will kind of have a life of its own after the month is over. Um, if you're watching the recording, not here live with us, um, let me know in the comments where you're, wh when it is, and what you're working with if you're if you're drawing along. And if you use the hashtags I've put in the corner, I'd um, really love to see what you've made during these sessions. Oh, oh, time's almost up, but it's good. It's good. I feel feel pretty good about this. Um, I've got here some some nice red. It's um, the podcast, the Duncan Trussell Family Hour, it's a, is um, I've been amazed by the things that are shared on there. It's like it's a mix of um, Duncan Trussell is a comedian who uh, the Netflix series, The Midnight Gospel, which is kind of like amazing psychedelic journey through consciousness, through space, uh, super interesting. He, um, Duncan Trussell has this podcast where he interviews all sorts of interesting people. And it's like a mix of spiritual teachers, comedians, uh, philosophers, historians, comedians. Um, and some of the, quest the, the conversations he's had with spiritual teachers, I've just been like, this is so amazing what these people like. I don't know, at times, phases earlier in my life where I perhaps would have been interested in some of this stuff, but I had no idea how to to access uh, teachers who are sharing such amazing information from a variety of different traditions. And it's so cool that he's got them on there and he's asking them about like, what actually happens while we're asleep? And is it possible to um, get in touch with, with people uh, throughout reality, living, or dreaming, or people who've left their bodies. So super interesting conversations. Um, and he just seems so curious, and, um, and it's so great having all these teachers on that he can just ask all these amazing, interesting questions to. All right, a minute. Looks like a minute over time, but done pretty well with this 10 minutes I went over time yesterday I feel like I've gotten more done in in the in the rule time in the allotted 10 minutes um, I've been using so many different things that they're, they're like spreading out across my desk and every day using different mediums and don't always know I don't know where's Oh, there it is. Where's, where's the thing I just wanted to use? Um, drawing with watercolor pencil. Cool. Cool, Shannon. So this is this is me finishing. Uh, just adding the last moment, last bit of definition and contrast to this. How's everyone done with the 10 minutes? Let's leave it at that. Um, now I would love you all to get busy in the chat telling me, oh, now I can see, because there's a bit of a lag, I can see that like I'm drawing off frame. I've set this camera up amazingly so you can like see me as I'm drawing and you just like see my ear and beard. Um, if you want to ask something, go for it. Um, dream rituals. Wim Hof breathing before and after sleep. That is amazing. I had, a, I had a phase, Shannon, where I was also doing the same. I would do like the um, the breathing practice, um, Wim Hof breathing before and after sleep. And the, the phase which I did it really um, regularly and disciplined, it's kind of faded out a bit now, but it was, it was amazing. I was amazed how long I could go with the breath retention 
and and I had really interesting um, visions and just the the physical experience of it super interesting so yeah Wim Hof breathing before and after sleep that's that's pretty awesome um, a goal for drawn together having Wim Hof on drawn together is that the goal that would be pretty cool uh, come over here hello hello um, here's my sketch wait a minute for the sake of being able to see this I'll just uh, put this here 22 people watching 14 likes now p perhaps would be a good opportunity to give me an old thumbs up and a comment um, here's my sketch that was fun. Thank you so much to Tenzin Wango Rinpoche. You're not aware that we're sketching you right now, but thank you so much for everything you share, sharing your your cheerful face and sharing your teachings. Um, I've really enjoyed getting into it. And um, I, I'm very curious what what my my sleep will bring. Another cool thing that... Um, in in the podcast conversation which may be applicable to a lot of you as well was like we have this time in the afternoon where it's a bit of a low and it's like oh I should have a coffee and it was like you should have a nap and if you just have a 20 minute nap like and I've I've done it in the past few weeks sometimes I'm like oh I was just like all right kids just play for a bit I'm, I'm just gonna have a little nap and just like 10 or 15 minutes and then afterwards I'm like all right play time let's go um yeah, so how good are naps? Um, you're welcome. Uh, so welcome, Ikudin. Uh, it's it's a pleasure to be here and do this with you. I love it. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, it already day 11. And maybe I can show you. I just had a look over on... Uh, these are some of the recent ones. So we got... Uh, this was yesterday. I really like this one. I bent the, the time rules a bit. This was day one with ink and red pencil. Janelle, I think was day four. And I've really loved seeing the, the work that everyone else has been doing, that people have been sharing on Instagram. So if you look up the hashtag 10 minute portrait, you'll see the stuff people have been posting and sharing about this. And drawing with Dylan is like the broader umbrella I, I did a little bit more in this. If anyone was watching on Thursday, I added a bit more definition afterwards. Um, like all of all of the live sketching things I do, you can use the hashtag drawing with Dylan or any of my classes. And the specific one for this challenge is 10 minute portrait. So use, use both of those hashtags. If you like, tag me if you're sharing. Oh, this is a, a bonus one because this was not one of the live streams. Um, yeah. How good's that? It's so so much fun doing all these quick sketches, and it's it's great having you join me. Thank you so much for being in the chat. I can see you all over there. Um, so so wonderful sketching and knowing my friends are out there drawing along with me, and come and draw with me tomorrow. Who are we going to draw tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know, but we shall see. Thanks so much for joining, and see you next time. <laughs>